Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In today's video, we will take a look at disabling a button if all the information for a task that we want to add has not been entered. So if the user, for example, does not enter in the subject, it will be disabled, or if there is information available in the subject, you'll see that's active. And if we remove it, you will see that it's disabled, not allowing the user to add a task with not all the information present. So the first thing I wanna do is take a look at the components that we have on the form here. So you see that we do have a subject due date, priority owner and description for creation. When the user clicks add, it will create a task related to the account on the left-hand side. So currently, if a user goes in to um, you know, the form here in the screen, they could actually just click add and not fill in any information. So you'll see how it ends up being blank at the bottom here. And of course we want to, you know, disable the add button until all the pertinent information is added. So what we could do is if you go to your button, um, one thing that you'll notice um, is there's a property called display mode. And by default, this is in edit. So display mode dot edit. And what we could do is if we could go to, if we just click the dot um, just beside display mode, you'll see the options that we have available here. So disabled, edit, and view. Uh, the only ones I use are edit and disabled. So in this case, what we can do is say, okay, if subject is blank, let's disable the add button. So this is a very simple um, if condition. So what we could do here is say is blank and we'll say the text subject dot text. And then we can say display mode disabled. Otherwise it will be in edit mode. So let's do that and close it up. So you'll see here, if we go and press play on our app and we just enter in a character, you'll see how it's now in edit mode. And if we clear it out, it's disabled. So what we could actually do is apply this to all the other fields that we have here. So not only for text fields, but we could also do this for dates, for an option set, Priority, we don't need to do it because there's always a default option here. So um, there's always a value go be stamped. So we don't need to make sure that a value is present. And for description, what we can do is maybe we don't want them to enter in, you know, a single character, but maybe we want them to enter in, let's say 10 characters minimum or something like that before they can click add. So if I go back to my add button here, and go to the display mode. Um, so if we want to add in a condition for the uh, date being present, all we have to do is very similar to the text field for subject and just say date, uh, due date dot selected date is not blank. Okay, so now that is now available for us. And we could do the same thing for the owner radio button as well. And this will work for any drop downs, combo boxes, anything like that where you may not have a default option selected. Um, you just use is blank. And what we will do here is radio owner dot selected. So we'll ensure that a value is present there. And the last one that we want to do is ensure that the length of the description is more than, for example, 10 characters. So in this case, we will enter in, let's say the length function, and we're going to add in the description for, and we'll grab the text property. And we want to say if it's less than 10 characters, the add button will be disabled. So let's go press play on our app and let's enter in a, a subject here, a date. We'll enter in a owner and we will enter in 
some characters. So you'll see how it's very flexible. We can clear out any of the fields here as we need to. And then we can click Add. And then once we click Add, it defaults back to the uh, disabled uh, display mode. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to you know, disable buttons in your apps.